Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend, or I'll hit you in the face with a brick. What? I can't. I can't say that. Today we'll be looking at the cup with handle chart formation, and this is a bullish continuation formation. Uh, to be a continuation formation, you must have a previous uptrend because this is a bullish formation. So you have a previous uptrend typically for a few months. If it's too long of an uptrend, this forms, uh, it can come into question as to whether or not it's actually going to be effective. Um, and if it is, uh, you know, pretty late in an uptrend, it also decreases the upside potential when this formation happens. So typically, you really want to see it uh, pretty early on in a uh, or in an uh, uptrend. The cup with handle is much like the rounded bottom. It basically starts with a rounded bottom. Uh, you have a sell-off, which is just consolidation period. You can have good volume on the sell-off like you have here. That's normal, just like it is with the rounded bottom. Uh, at the very bottom of the uh, cup forming, uh, you could have an increase of volume as well. It shows that uh, you're kind of... Uh, budding heads from sellers and buyers right there and there's buying going on and typically volume will either decrease or start to increase on the buy side as you start to go up on the right side of the cup or the, the rounded bottom here. Uh, as you continue to move on up what you're going to see are two high points. The initial high point where the sell off began and you're in a perfect scenario going to find the, the uh, rounded bottom peaks equally with the previous. It doesn't have to be that way. In some cases it'll be a little bit less, some cases a little bit more. Um, the next phase of the chart formation is the handle. Um, this basically happens when uh, price activity starts to consolidate and pull back down. This is normal because of the depth of the cup. Uh, the price activity has fallen in this particular case down to $16 a share and then rallied all the way back up over a couple of months all the way up to 24 it needs to take a breather so that's why you get this move down here a lot of times you'll see that you get the uh, resistance level right here and you can in this case we got a breakout where price closed above that and it could have uh, fooled a lot of people thinking well you know resistance now has got to be support because it's you know, broken through it and then she turns right around and pulls back down here and consolidates so I'm let that throw you that's normal um, in a perfect scenario this will last about one to four weeks it can last longer, but typically it's about one to four weeks, and then you'll see it start to climb back to the upside. And that's when you're going to see the real breakout, uh, and that one's going to have to be on good volume. You want to see volume supporting that breakout. Uh, the breakout can be, let me clean this chart up. <clears throat> you notice there's a couple breakout points here. You've got uh, the previous resistance line right here, all right? Or you could use a trend line on this particular chart. You had a the ability to draw a trend line right here and you could have seen the breakout happening right in front of you and it's again supported by strong volume which gives us more confidence in the move now, typically stock traders are going to be looking to be buying right here when you get a breakout of resistance on good volume uh, they've had the time to consolidate this is a really strong move to the upside uh, a lot of guys will measure the distance from uh, the right side of the cup the highest peak and down to the, uh, the bottom of the uh, rounded bottom there of the, of the cup, take that distance and then add that to the breakout point and they get a target for how high they expect price to go. Remember, this is only a target, it's not an exact science, so just uh, use your best judgment and keep doing analysis as the trend develops. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.